right, thank you, David. Well, Barbadian culture was on full display in Toronto as the Barbados Canada Association held its annual gala and fundraiser in celebration of the island's 53rd anniversary of independence. And our Damien Sogren has more. Canadian-based Barbadians and their supporters came out in full force for the island's 53rd anniversary of its independence, with a gala event filled with Barbadian culture and flair. The event Discover Barbados was held under the patronage of Barbados Consular General at Toronto, the Honorable Sonia Marvel Carter. It's wonderful to be at anything to do with Barbados because you're going to get the feel, the warmth. Even when you're in Canada and it is bitterly cold, like now in November, the warmth of the Barbadian people is just going to envelop you. You're just going to understand exactly why we're a Caribbean nation. The formal affair put on by the Barbados Canada Association in collaboration with the Barbados Consulate was also a fundraiser and encouraged guests to bring donations of non-perishable food items which were collected for Bridge TO's holiday food drive in Barbados. This event um, is also a fundraiser uh, and the main thing we push is um, three initiatives. One is um, scholarships. Two, we try to support the hospital back home. As, as you may know in the Caribbean, the hospitals suffer a lot from bad equipment, old equipment, and they're not replaced. And the third one, we're trying to start a disaster fund because we find a disaster and emergency fund because we find that, um, you know, if anything happens in the island, right, hopefully we can help. And we, every year we experience um, people who come here on holidays and things happen to them and they need help from the diaspora here. So if we have a fund there that we can dip into and help them, it kind of eases it a lot than having to run around and trying to get people to put money together. Attendees of Discover Barbados thoroughly enjoyed the Barbadian culture, which was on full display. I'm here with the lovely Charmaine. Charmaine, this is your first time to this event. What are some of the highlights for you? Um, it's, it's just amazing just being around a lot of um, other Bajans. I feel, it feels like back home for me. Um, and just seeing all the blue, yellow, and black because everyone's wearing that. I'm looking forward to the dinner and the food and the remainder of the um, event. Awesome. And of course, we have Kathy representing the Oyston Market. Tell, let us know a bit about Oyston's Market and what it brings to this event. So Oyston's Market, literally, it's it's a marketplace where people can buy products literally brought in from Barbados. We ship them in from Barbados. And you know when you go away and you put things in your suitcase and then you get here, you use them all up and then they're gone. And then you're thinking, well, how am I supposed to get these again unless I fly back to Barbados? So we've taken that element out and basically brought everything to you. So now you can go online to oystonsmarket.com and purchase all your wonderful Bajan products, authentic Bajan products. The evening gave members of the Barbadian diaspora a platform to celebrate the splendor of the island and for fellow Canadians, an opportunity to discover Barbados. For One Caribbean Television, I'm Damien Sogren.